Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this abstract animation with the new simulation nodes. You're going to need the experimental branch of Blender 3.5 Alpha for this to work. You can find a link to that in the description. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a torus. Go here and set the minor radius to 0.05. Hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to geometry nodes and with the plane selected click on new. Hide the torus in the viewport and in the render and click and drag it in here. Add a simulation input node. Put that here and a simulation output node. Everything in this dark gray area will be simulated. By the way, since this is an experimental build of Blender, I recommend that you save every now and then. I also want to let you know that for some reason undoing something will cause the simulation to not work properly. In that case, you have to make sure that you disable use cache. We're going to enable it later. You also have to make sure that you're on frame 1. Then save, go to file and go to revert and then enable use cache again and play the animation. Delete the group input and add a mesh line. Plug the mesh into the geometry. Add an instance on points node and let's use the geometry here as the instance. As you can see, we can't see anything here. That is because we need to go to frame 2 and now back to frame 1. You can also just press play and then every time it restarts, it will refresh the scene. Add a rotate instances node and let's put that in here. Now we need a Musgrave texture. Plug the height into the rotation, the pivot point and the local space. Now if I change the scale it will be simulated. I'm going to pause this for now and open the timeline here. Now let's set the scale to 0. You don't have to do this but I'm going to set the frame rate to 60 and the end frame to 3000. Let's go back to frame 1. Set the scale to 0 and keyframe it. Make sure the plane and the node are selected and let's duplicate these keyframes here. Put them here. Now I'll go to frame 1500 and set the scale to 0 0.05 and keyframe it again. We can close the timeline now and let's press play again. Let's also set the count here to 1000. Add a math node and plug it into the rotation and into the scale here. Take the height and plug it into the top value. Duplicate the math node and plug the value into the bottom. And let's set this value to 0 0.075. One thing that I forgot to do earlier is to set it from offset to endpoints. Now here let's add a wave texture and plug the factor into the top value here. Set it to rings and to spherical. Add a scene time and let's plug the seconds into the scale. Now let's also plug the color into the vector here. Open the timeline again. Let's pause it and go back to frame 1. Now we need to enable use cache and let it run through the entire simulation once, otherwise this won't render correctly. Now let's pause it. Let's save. Add a subdivision surface node. I recommend that you set it to 2 or 3. I'm going to set it to 3. Add a set shade smooth node and let's put that here. We also need a set material node and let's put that here. Go to the material properties, click on new. Let's set the metallic to 1 and the roughness to 0. Now I'll select that material here. In the world properties I'll use this HDRI here. You can find a link to that in the description. Let's save again and go back to layout mode. I'm going to put my view around here. Hit Shift A, add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G and set twice to move then the local set axis. And now press G. Here are the exact coordinates if you want to use them. Let's go to the render properties. I'm going to use Eevee for this, but you can also use Cyclus. Make sure that ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections are enabled. Also go to film and make it transparent. Go into rendered view. With the camera selected, go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Here let's select the plane and set the f-step to 1 and the blades to 16. In the compositor, enable use nodes and add a denoise node. In the output properties, select the resolution that you want and let's create a new output folder. I'm going to set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. In case you want to cancel the render and resume it later, you need to go back to geometry nodes. Now I select the subdivision surface, press M, disable use cache, save, go to file and click on revert, revert. Now enable use cache again. Let it run through the entire simulation and then click on the subdivision surface again and press M. Once you did that, go here. Now find out which frame was the last one that was rendered. Let's say the last frame was frame 40. Then I'm going to go here and type in 41. Now you can resume the render. So I'm going to set this back to 1 and save and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window. Now let's go here, set this back to frame 1 and make sure you are on frame 1. Go to video editing, go to the render properties, go to color management, 
Set diffusions from to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go back to the output properties. Set the file format to FFmpeg video. Under encoding, set the container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Here, hit Shift A, image sequence. Find the folder where you have the images and then press A and enter. Save again and go to render, render animation. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like to render this on screen now. I'll see you next time.